I'm not dangerous. How can I say that? We gotta back out. I'm not up for this. I wanna go home. A remarkable array of actors voiced the characters in the Cuphead show on Netflix. The Cuphead show, like the original Cuphead computer game, plays tribute to rubber hose animations with a look and sound that harkens back to the height of American animation. Perhaps you thought you recognized the voice but weren't sure. Or you simply want to learn the details about the actors who provide the voices for the Cuphead show's characters. Whatever the cause, we'll get into it. Shouldn't we get the one that's most seaworthy? The dangerous doesn't do seaworthy. He does. Dangerous. Drew Cuphead, the boisterous little character of the program, is portrayed by Valentino. In a series like Fast and Furious Spy Racers, Madagascar A Little Wild, and more recently Spidey and His Amazing Friends, Valentino has performed in several voice acting roles. Additionally, thanks to his reoccurring role as Aaron on The Rookie, Valentino has expertise with live action. You'll be surprised to know that he had to turn the car off in order to complete the audition and while doing it in his car after leaving a recording session for another program. He was basically just attempting to record this on his phone while shivering in his car, hoping that it would be decent enough to receive a callback. Are you ready to talk about diaper, baby? Mugman, Cuphead's wiser and more careful brother, is portrayed by Frank. The majority of Frank's voice acting work is for anime, with some of his more well-known roles being in the Vinland Saga as well as in The Vampire Dies in No Time. He's also provided Starscream's voice in Transformers War for Cybertron movie. Did you know? He has attempted to rule the deceptions through voiceovers in many Transformers animated shows and videos video games as the cunning Starscream. First, we're gonna calm down, but what about <laughs> According to Frank, you can see the similarities with his character because Mugman is immersed in books. He's a little weary. He also said that he's not sure about being careful, but he can identify with Mugman in many aspects. Whereas Valentino stated that he doesn't think that any part is that similar to Cuphead because he's so blind to oncoming disasters. He makes it a point of being very conscious of his surroundings and avoiding danger but he can clearly see a younger true there, especially considering some of his negligence and stupidity. However, he considers himself to be quite laid back. He also occasionally can be a little crazy, loud, and silly. Therefore, he believed that some exaggerated aspects of his personality are certainly there in Cuphead. Can I get your autograph? Not the time. The directors and writers were planning ahead. Of course, they wanted Cuphead and Mugman to be East Coasters. From there, it was simple for them to proceed. Additionally, they provided the actors with some models to draw inspiration from. Drew said that he couldn't recall the name of the character that they sent him, but it was from a vintage 1940s cartoon. There's some slang from monster movies and other similar material. Unknown to most people, his mother is from New Jersey. Although she doesn't speak with much of a Jersey accent, there are occasionally words she uses that make it clear that she is from the East Coast. So for Drew especially, there was someone to look over to. Every episode features a chemistry between these characters. While producing the Cuphead show, many questioned if they had recorded separately. Drew stated that before the epidemic, he believed there was one session where they both were in the same place. On the other hand, Frank said that they hadn't had a chance to really explore Cuphead and Mugman together. Looking at that, it's quite interesting that they were able to play off one another so well despite the fact that they probably recorded it on different days and completely apart. How it worked was that Frank usually recorded before Valentino did. As a result, if there were any lines where they both had to say anything so he could hear Frank speak it and try to match him. That's right. Anyway, I gotta lay low for a while, but we'll hang out again soon. Promise. Valentino explained that it resembles meeting someone when you are in love or in a casual social relationship. You meet someone and become acquainted with them. You get to know them very well over time. You're aware of their reactions to various circumstances. As Mugman is his best friend in the show, after a certain point in the recording, he already knew how he would respond. Yeah, the actors of these movies have been carefully planned, but now he is familiar with Mugman. Moreover, he also added that if he were to roleplay him, he could probably do it fairly accurately. So don't worry, we're busting out of this joint tonight at midnight as the crow flies. 
For True, there is undoubtedly activities he enjoys performing with Cuphead. He really appreciates it whenever they let him alter his demeanor a little bit while still maintaining his voice. That's fun every time. You'll see certain things in the future, but he can't really talk about them at the moment. If we talk about Frank's favorite moment, he adores Mugman's annoyance. In a few lines, he just seems a little tired. Mugman constantly responds in this way when confirmed with ridiculousness. His face is animated in some wonderful, odd, rubbery ways that go great with it. His favorites, though, are the little exchanges with his brother, because Cuphead and Mugman are in love with each other despite everything. They support one another, so all those simple things make Frank happy. This silly cartoon has a humanity about it, and it makes it quite entertaining. Now that we're done with knowing so much about the main characters, let's see about the rest of the cast. You just missed your friend. She brought my glasses, she sang me a song, oh, she was so charming. The Elder Kettle, the elderly caregiver for Cutman and Mugman is voiced by Joe Hanna. Joe's work as the voice of several characters on LaShawn Thomas's Canon Busters is one of her most notable accomplishments. In some video games like Reservoir Dogs and Dishonored 2, Hanna has also appeared in minor roles. Fair and square. And then they destroyed the whole carnival. The Devil, the central villain of the Netflix original series, is voiced by Luke. Despite having appeared in the web series Best Friend Fix, Luke is best known for his TikTok channel. Additionally, he'll take part in the Parallel Pilots episode. Who will be the first lucky contestant to roll the dice? King Dice, the Devil's right-hand man, is voiced by Wayne Brady. Wayne hosts Let's Make a Deal since the show's return in 2009 and is a regular on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Regarding his performance on Whose Line Is It Anyways, Let's Make a Deal in the Wayne Brady Show, he has received five Emmy Awards. Let's listen to these headlines. Invasive beetles devastate crops. The gullible lackey of the devil, simply known as a henchman, is voiced by Dave. Dave is a vital contributor to the conception and production of various animated programs, including Time Squad, Mickey Mouse, and Star vs. the Force of Evil. He is also the primary developer of the video game TV series. Max and his special problem, which he is also the developer for Oh Yeah cartoons, earned him an Emmy for production designer. Now, we can stay here at the boring old cottage, or we can go out into the real world and live. What do you say? A somewhat recent addition to the Cuphead mythology, Miss Chalice is a member of the Cuphead and Mugman's crew. Her head is formed like a golden chalice. She used to haunt the mausoleum in the Cuphead games, but now appears as a stylish Miss Chalice. She will also make every effort to ensure that everyone is content. The grifter Miss Chalice, who is making her debut here in instead of in the Cuphead DLC The Delicious Last Course, is voiced by Grey. Since the late 90s, Grey has worked on a wide range of animation productions and video games. He's a very active voice actor. He is in The Fairly Odd Parents, in Batman Arkham series, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, as well as in Avatar The Last Airbender. Those are just some of the few more well-known performances. You know, with him being so elderly and all. <laughs> Did we mention that he's an orphan? There are several voice performers in supporting roles for the Cuphead show. Pork Rind is Chansey, and the Spirit Quadrants are all voiced by Cosmo and Gary Anthony Williams, respectively. Additionally, Candy Milo plays Cherry and Brandy Wine Heirloom, Andrew plays Stickler, and Chris Wilde and Rick play Ribby and Croaks, respectively. Trapped. Relax, it just needs a little elbow grease. <laughs> that is a wrap for this video. Who is your favorite character from the Cuphead show? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's a miracle! Let's tell El the Kettle the good news!